Hey, what's going on, guys? Jones167 here, and today we do have a FIFA 15 squad builder. So let's go on with it. In that, we do have uh, Jose Reina, the Spanish goalkeeper from Bayern Munich, and he is a replacement for Neuer because Neuer is like over 100k, which is very expensive for a keeper. So I did decide to go for Reina, and it was the biggest mistake I've ever made. A really, really bad keeper, let really stupid goals in, and I really didn't enjoy using him. So I definitely would recommend Neuer if you do have the coins. The Right back we do have is Carvajal from Real Madrid, and he is a very, very good right back. As you can see, 22 games of him, so I, he is a player that I do return to quite a bit because I do like him that much. High, medium work rates, but you don't really notice it that much, and he does have very good pace as well for a right back. The right centre back we do have is Jerome Boateng, gets a strong link with Rayner, 77 pace, 83 defender, and 82 physical, 31k, which is quite a bit for a centre back, but in my opinion, he is worth it. And medium, medium work rates, and six foot four as well. So he is a very, very um, like big and strong centre back. But he is also quite quick as well with that seventy-seven pace. The left centre back we do have is Benatia, who is only one rating less than him, but he is a lot cheaper than him. I only six k, which I bought him for, but he is about four k, I do believe now. So he has gone down quite a bit, and he does have high, high work rates, which you don't really notice in game. But he does have eighty-eight defend and eighty-four physical, which is absolutely unreal for a centre back. And the left back we do have is uh, Eliseo from Benfica, Portuguese as well, and he is pretty decent with 87 pace, and all his stats are above 71, which is very, very good for a left back, and 700 coins for a player as good as Eliseo, with high physical as well for a left back, who is only 5 foot 9, and a medium, medium work rate, so he does stick back with the defence. The CDM we do have is Sami Kadira, and he is absolutely unreal, as you can see he didn't get much in the goals or assist department, but played very, very well, helping out the defence of those medium-high work rates, and 83 defend and 86 physical, an absolute unreal defending CDM. The centre mid we do have is Cruz, with not very good pace, but makes up for that in his uh, high pass in 89, and good shooting at 81, and very, very good dribbling at 84. Medium, medium work rates, 6 foot tall, did get me 2 goals and 2 assists, which isn't the greatest, but he just he did a lot around the park, creating play, a bit of tick attacker. And helping out the defence as well with those medium, medium work rates. And he is a very, very good centre mid. And he has, does also have an inform, so you can go and try that out as well if you want to. The left centre mid we do have is Enzo Perez. And very, very good consistent stats. Not one being below 73. And a medium high work rate is like Kadira. So he does help out the defence a lot. But this guy did manage to get one goal and two assists. Which is pretty decent for a defensive midfielder. And... Yeah, very, very good around the park, getting forward and getting back. And I definitely recommend trying him out. An absolute steal for 1,200 coins. The left wing we do have is an on right, and that is Gaitan. 83 pace, 74 shooting, 81 passing, 86 dribbling, which is very, very good for a non rare player. And 5 assists as well, which is pretty decent again. And 2 goals. And for 500 coins, you can't really go wrong. For a player, you're not going to lose anything on, because he can quick sign for about 350 coins anyway. So you're not going to lose anything at all. And 5 for 8, which is pretty small. But he is still a very, very good player nonetheless. The right wing we do have is a pacey one, and that is Jesus Navas. And 91 pace is very, very good. 84 dribbling, um, 71 shooting is not bad, and 78 passing. Unfortunately, he didn't manage to get me a goal, but did get two assists. Which, again, isn't great for a winger, but that is mainly because like, the strike was having most of the limelight. And I was just like doing mad runs with him and stuff. But he is a very, very good player nonetheless. And 15k is quite a bit for an 83 rated player. But in my opinion, he is worth it because he is very, very quick and very, very agile as well. The striker we do have in the team is Sergio Aguero. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 77 passing and 88 dribbling. High, low work rates. 4-star weak fan, 4-star skill moves, 33 goals in 18 games and 6 assists. 230k pay for him. And in my opinion, he is worth that 100%. He is the best player I've used in the game so far. Maybe someone will do better than him, but so far it is Aguero. And you can see that scoring 33 goals in 18 games, that's almost two goals a game. Well, it's just a bit less, and that's probably because I disconnected from a few games, and people rage quit in like the first 10 minutes if I've bagged a few. And just an absolutely class player. As you can see, I've played 18 games, as opposed to the nine I've played with the rest of the players. That was because I did uh, put him in a Prem team to get a few more goals with him, to uh, do a player review of him, which will be coming out in the near future. So uh, be sure to subscribe for that. So that is the team guys, if you enjoy it please like and subscribe for more, enjoy the clips and I'll see you next time.